when you start getting into your 30s um you can still do it but by the time you get to 35 dude it's like you're fighting against fatigue every day you know like soreness every day you're you're training while your muscles aren't fully recovered you know and so it's like you're not really getting stronger anymore you're just like you're just like fulfilling this like pride thing like i'm just training because that's what i do you know but i'm actually just fucking myself up a little bit more and a little bit more every every day you know but i'm just like so into it i'm like no you just this is your this is how it works you gotta keep <laughs> training you know oh dude that's crazy like it's crazy for me to hear this because i didn't know that you did that much because like i feel like I, that would kill me and I mean, obviously it probably did kill you, you know, like I couldn't function. Like when you, when you talked about retiring, the reason I, you know, it was easy for me to retire. The reason I retired from fighting is because my wife wanted me to stop. My wife was like, look, you know, this is stressing me out. I don't want you to get hurt. And this is really stressful for me to watch you do this. And so um, I didn't put up much of a fight though, because the training required to fight like my last fight, and I feel like I was the same as you. My last fight, I was 37, and I was the best I ever was. That's how I feel. I feel like that was my peak, best I ever was. But I trained every day, and it would hurt for me to help my wife with the laundry, like folding laundry and hanging the laundry and doing the dishes. Like I just wanted to go to sleep. I was like, I just, I'm in pain. I just want to sit on the couch and eat some food and go to bed. You know, I don't want to freaking, I, I can't do these chores cause it's too hard, you know? Yeah. And so like, I, I did not like that state of being in that kind of, you know, every single day feeling like that. Yeah. Just, yeah, just totally exhausted totally miserable and uh but i feel like what you're saying this is how i know that if i did what you just said there's no way <laughs> there's no way i could function in life dude if i was doing uh these workouts you just said that you're doing every day yeah I mean, you know i uh there was a lot of like pride behind it all i i and and i was angry and i was upset that about my my situation and, and i and I felt like I was driven by anger. I felt like I had to do it, dude. It was like, if you know, like Dorian Yates, where he talks about, like, I felt like I had to do it. I had to do it. It was like life and death. I, I truly believe that about the situation I was in. I felt like I had to do that, dude. I, I had to, man. There, I don't know how to explain it any other way, but I, that's why I relate to Dorian Yates in those videos, because I'm just like, I was really in the same kind of mindset. I, I had no choice, dude. Like, there was no other thought for me you know I, I wasn't thinking i had no other backup dude i i wasn't thinking if i if this doesn't work out i'll go to college and do this and this and i, I never thought like that i was like this has this is all i have you know i have to make this work i have to be a champion I, and i kept telling myself over the years you're not known enough 